Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord and GS economy series. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a um, inventory command, a buy command, and yeah, um, we're gonna do this by using mongoose and objects. So um, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by creating a um, a schema. So for this, I'm just gonna go to my main directory. Okay, just ignore source. You can create it anywhere you want. I'm just gonna name this models, and then I'm gonna create this called inventory.js. So in inventory.js, we're gonna structure mongoose. Mongoose. Okay, we're gonna take in um model and also schema. Okay, and then we're gonna export module. The exports equals to model model and then I'm gonna name this inventory comma new schema okay make sure it matches okay and then for the first one we're gonna take in guild which is a string we're gonna take in user which is also a string um, and also inventory inventory so normally I'll do this with um, arrays but for today's video I'm just gonna use objects cuz why not okay I'm bored of arrays so um let's just create a file over here and I'm just gonna name this by.js and I'm gonna make another file called inventory.js okay let me just close this, we don't need that anymore. Basic setup, um, if you don't know what's that, I uh, made a video on it already on my channel, it's called VS Code Snippets. So first you're gonna require the schema that we created earlier, so cons inventory equals require dot dot slash, dot dot slash um, models slash inventory and then um, we need to require the items, so let me just show what's the items. Um, so this is based on the previous video. So shop items, we just need that. So we need this file. So we just gonna come in buy, and then we're gonna do const items equals require dollar slash dollar slash um shop items. Perfect. So in here, the name I'm just gonna name this as buy. So uh, we're gonna start by checking if it's a valid item. So um, we're just gonna say const um, item to buy is equals to arc zero dot to lowercase. Okay, then if there's no arc zero, arc zero return message dot channel let send please specify a item to buy. Okay. And then after that, uh, we're gonna check if it's a valid item. So const valid item equals uh, double exclamation marks items dot find use an array method. Okay, value and then value dot value dot item is equals to uh, item to buy. So we're checking if there is a item named as um, the arcs that we specified. Okay, and then if there is no valid item, valid item, return message to reply the item that you wanted to buy is not valid. Just say that, then we can move on. Okay, so next thing, we're gonna find the price of the item. So cons item price equals to items dot find one I mean find same thing val and then um val dot item dot to lowercase and equals to um item to buy okay let's make this also to dot to lowercase okay item to buy and then uh, behind here, you're just gonna add price dot price. Okay, and then um, if 
Okay, let me just define balance. So const um, user balance equals await client await client dot bal uh, message dot author id and then uh, we have oh it's just one parameter okay so if our balance is not enough to buy the item so if a uh, user balance is less than uh, item price we're gonna return message to reply can okay, you use template controls okay you only have user balance coins um and then comma and then the item uh, the price of the item is and then we can put in the item price coins so i'm just gonna tell the person that he doesn't have enough coins to buy this item okay so once all those checks are done we can uh, start searching in our database so inventory to find one and then um let me just do a const params const params equals to an object so the first object uh, the first query is going to be guild equals message dot guild the id next one will be user message dot author the id so we're going to find for the params comma async error data okay so if there is data and uh, we're just going to make an else okay so if there is data we're gonna call we're gonna check if um we have the item already so let's say that um you already have a pizza and you already have a banana okay so if you already have a pizza you don't want it to say to the database pizza pizza you want to make it um pizza and then something like that pizza one or pizza two or pizza three okay so it looks a little better so we're gonna check if we have the item first but in cons has item equals object dot keys make sure it's capitals and then data dot inventory okay dot includes includes um arcs and then um items item to buy okay we're gonna check if um the item is available okay if there is if there is no item no has item we're gonna add the item itself by doing data dot inventory with, an, with capitals okay and then um, square brackets are uh item to buy item to buy equals one okay and then next else if there is no item oh uh, and then we can um uh, add the number inventory um and then same thing square brackets and then item to buy and then plus plus so we can make it one and if it's one you're gonna get two if it's two you're gonna get three okay as simple as that so once that's done we can actually console the log data to see if it's actually changed and then we can just do await inventory to find one and update okay the first parameter will be params comma data okay perfect so just click on this and then you should see the else statement that we used just now okay and then uh if there is no data we're going to create a new data by doing new inventory inventory and then we can do params comma and then um Oh my, let's just type it out normally. Um, new inventory. Let me just copy this, paste it in here, comma, and then um, we're gonna do inventory. And then we're gonna make it an object, and we're gonna use square brackets item to buy is equals to one. And then uh, lastly, after this, we're going to do dot save. So we're going to save the data. So once that's all done, um, we're going to just say a message dot channel dot send. Or you can just do message dot reply. Uh, you have bought and then item to buy. Okay, so this is the buy command essentially. 
so hopefully there will be no errors um let me just make the inventory command and then we can test it all at once so let me just copy this because we are gonna pretty pretty much use the same stuff just remove all of these remove items because we don't need items and um yeah we can start now so you can change buy make sure you change buy to inventory okay i can add aliases because i don't want to type so long i'm just gonna make yeah, inv okay so in here we can actually do um we, we're gonna straight away find uh added we're gonna find for in the database and then the same params oops um okay the guild message guild id um user message author id okay so we're gonna fight for data and then async async our data if no data return message dot channel dot send um your inventory is empty so if there's data, uh, we're gonna do const map data equals object dot keys data dot inventory and then dot map key arrow function map all the keys and then we're gonna return a string um, key and then we're gonna bracket and then we're gonna show the amount of stuff that we had. So um, dollar sign data dot inventory and then um, square brackets and then key put a key in it so you can get the value for the object and then we're gonna join it the join and then we're gonna make it commas or if you want each line you want an item per line just to um, backslash n so if for me I'm just gonna do a, a comma because it uh, looks better for me okay so um. We can do a uh, message. Let me just skip another line. Message dot channel dot send uh, map data. So let me just save this and let's just try this out. Ignore the logs from. Okay, so let's just try this out. Um, let me just look over here. So I can actually enlarge this. Okay, let me just enlarge that and then we can see logs okay so um we can start by checking the items by doing um eShop so here are all the available items so if I try to buy something that isn't available in the shop something like socks as you can see here the item that, that you wanted to buy is not valid so you must make sure you have a valid item to buy okay so let's say I want to buy a pizza so let me just do e buy pizza. Okay, let me see my balance first. Oh, I forgot something. We need to actually remove the amount of coins from the user after we bought the item. So, um, make sure to go down here, and then um, after the message reply, we're gonna do client dot remove. I think it's the function and then message the author author the ID and then um, item price oops I accidentally commented that out Let's restart that um, okay so as you can see here I already bought the pizza so let me just try the uh, inventory command inventory as you can see here I have one pizza so let's say I want to buy another pizza, so I'm just going to do E buy pizza. Okay, you have bought pizza, so if I um, do IMV, as you can see here I have two pizzas because I bought twice. So let me see what's more in the menu I can buy. Um, okay, so now currently I think I have 500 coins, so let me just check that real quick. Okay, as you can see here, 500 coins. So if I buy pizza twice, so it only allows me to buy another pizza and then I'll have zero coins. So let me just buy another pizza real quick. Um, e buy pizza. Congrats, you have buy pizza. Okay, so if I do e bow, 
I have no coins so if I want to buy banana I will have enough coins so let me just try that and show you guys e buy e buy banana banana okay you have zero coins the price of the item is 100 coins so yeah um if I add uh for myself if I add 100 coins to myself as you can see I have 100 coins okay so, and then I can uh, buy banana so e buy banana okay you have bought banana so if I do um e um inventory inventory you can see that I have three pizza and one banana you can style this however you want um the code is over in here okay so this is the join the join is over here the commas over here and then um the key which is the pizza and then the value which is the three and the one okay so that should conclude today's video on the buy command so if you like this video make sure to leave a like um if you need any help or you face any errors feel free to join the support server make sure to subscribe it really helps the channel out other than that have a nice day see you in the next video bye